Welcome back to Super Meat Boy on Instant Replay Live. Uh, this is a game series that led me in the past to talk about scars, and I realized something. I didn't tell my best scar story. Uh, Somehow, is the one about the Lion King? Yeah, exactly. That's the best scar story. That time that he pushed Mufasa off that cliff and said, "Long live the king." That's that's really the best scar story. So thanks. We've we've covered it all now on Instant Replay Live. Good. I hope you enjoyed watching. That's the end of our series. That's the end. That's it. <laughs> it's over. So I hope you had a good time. <laughs> no, no. But yeah, I, I um, early in this, I think the episode one of Meat Boy. In fact, I told. Oh, nice. Ooh, <laughs> nice. I told a bunch of stories about how I got various scars, and uh, I have two other scars that I left out, but they came in the same. Well, I mean, I probably have a lot of, I guess, little scars, but two other considerable scars, and they came in the same incident. Um, I was working a network installation job for a hotel in a nearby city, and um, <laughs> what we were doing was we were a super, like, amateur company, basically. We, we won by getting the lowest bid on it because we clearly had no idea what we were doing. And, um, I mean, we knew how to install a network, we just didn't know, like, the amount of effort we'd have to put in, I guess. So we won the contract by putting in the absolute lowest bid. And we didn't have the proper equipment, like ladders and <laughs> things of that nature, that you should have if you're going to be running network cable in the ceilings of places. And on this particular day, we were in the, um, in the, the hotel's restaurant, running a cable to the bar so that they could have... Uh, a network connection there at the bar and we had to go through the ceiling tiles to do it um, and having only the one ladder for our entire team um, I was working on a lower portion and my boss was standing on a table and running some cable up through the ceiling and I saw him do that and he left at one point saying hey Nick can you finish this up um, such and such has the ladder, but he's on the roof right now, so you're going to have to wait for him to be done. And I thought, okay. Well, he was standing on the table. So clearly the tables are sturdy. Sure. So I'll be fine. So in order to save time, I climbed up on the table. I was almost completely in the ceiling, like, you know, my upper body. I mean, my, my upper torso was elevated to the point of being in the ceiling. When the table gave way... Um, toppled to the side and threw me to the floor and I just remember like that that almost blackout moment like everything kind of went blurry and dark <laughs> and my head had when it, when it hit that is uh, and my head bounced a little bit yeah and yeah, yeah. and then I like realized that I could stand up I was okay enough to do that so I kind of you know staggered a little bit got back up onto my feet and there was, this was at lunchtime, so there was like a restaurant, well not a restaurant full, it's a hotel restaurant, and they're always kind of empty. Mm. But there were patrons and workers there, um, a number of people. And they kind of gathered in this, this hemisphere around me, and I, uh, I touched my hand to my chin, because that's where I felt like the worst impact. And I, <clears throat> I looked down at my hand and there was no blood, and I was like, oh okay, I'm alright. And I took a step towards the group, and everybody had the, like, deep, wide-eyed stare at me. <laughs> and I was like, what? What's the, what's the problem? Um, am I bleeding? And uh, I checked again. Um, oh, no, that's not what I said. I said, uh, I'm not bleeding. I, I think I'm okay. And they said, no, you're not okay. And they just kind of shook their heads. And I, I checked again with my hand, and this time, from putting it to my chin and pulling away, even though it was completely dry before, it came back 100% soaked in blood, like, all the way down my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I had completely oh, split my, my chin open. There was a, um electrical junction box sticking out of the wall oh. where I fell, and my chin landed perfectly on the corner of the box so that it just tore right up under my mouth. Um, I mean, just like a, imagine like a, a wedge shape just driving up in there. And it was completely yeah. split open. And um, I had no insurance. <laughs> so I went and got stitches and they wanted to charge me an obscene amount of money. Um, 
just for getting the stitches, and they put the, the suture removal on the bill as well. <laughs> so in order to save myself a little bit, I removed the sutures myself a couple weeks later. Mm. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> but but from there, and also bang my arm somehow during the fall. I don't know exactly where, but I have two good-sized scars from those two incidents. And the only time in my life I've ever had to get stitches. Wow. Yeah. I've never had stitches, I don't... Really? Yeah, no. Did you I, not have, like, wisdom teeth out or something? I feel I like... I never had my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, I did have my tonsils removed. Okay. Um, they probably guess, don't stitch that, I don't think. Yeah. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't remember. I was pretty drugged up. Yeah. As a seven -year -old. I, I was going to say, I remember you having some kind of mouth work done, so I thought, for some reason, I thought it was your teeth, but I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I, I was perfect. young. You were young. <laughs> and there was... Oh, man, this is a fun one. So, uh, I went... To, uh, did we, did we tell the story of the dentist that uh, that took apart my body without my mom's permission? <laughs> I think you... Uh, I, I don't know. Is it just that I know the story or Maybe. that we told it? I can't remember because well, I do know the story. We'll go over real quick then. Went to the dentist and I guess the dentist decided that one of my teeth needed to be removed because it was unhealthy, mm -hmm. unhealthy mm -hmm. for my mouth. But he did so without telling me mm -hmm. or my mother. Yeah, I know. Uh, proceeded <laughs> to stick Novocaine in my mouth. Uh, oh, I didn't or, or think some, he, I didn't think he drugged you at all. It was it was some numb gum numbing. Some, I don't know yeah, topical mean, yeah. numbing. Yeah. Yeah. So my, I couldn't feel my mouth, and then he pulled out with, like they looked like pliers. They weren't pliers, but you know they were the teeth yeah. pullers. And I was just like, "What? What are you doing?" Yeah. <laughs> and, but I couldn't talk because Mom I was like, was so my mouth was angry. pulled open. Yeah. Oh man. She was livid, man. I can't believe they did that without asking me. And I mean, totally reasonable. Like you can't touch someone's kid like that. I mean, ultimately she would have said yes, right? Like, mm. if he said, hey, this tooth has to go. But you have to go through the motions. And it would have been nice nice for me to know, because instead yeah. I was like, okay, what's he doing with that tool? Child. Wait a minute, what's that weird, like, I could, I could hear it, but I couldn't, like, feel it? I just felt like this wrenching, <laughs> oh, you know, like, like the sound oh, God, of, like, yeah. yeah, and it was just so bizarre. And, uh, like, no bedside manner at all. Like, what children's yeah. dentist has right. no... Right, Oh, man, I keep missing that jump. I can't remember what dentist that was. I'm sure we stopped going It was actually uh, one of my classmates, like, grandfather, Lennon. We only went, like, once or twice. Okay. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, I remember that trip, though. I was there at the dentist that day. So we did the whole family dentist trip thing. Mm. Yeah. So, that's funny. Got some chocolate milk afterwards. I've, I've never Denny's. had anything... Oh, <laughs> How do I remember that? That's such a weird thing to remember. Yeah, that is. I've never had anything like that happen to me, where a doctor's just done something that I wasn't okay with or whatever. I, I have no fear of the dentist or the doctor, but that is yeah. one of those things that's like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> I know why people do. Kind of like the, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, oh, what's the movie with Little Shop of Horrors Dentist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve Martin. Steve Martin? Yeah. Oh, man. What a great, like, ridiculous, insane... Wait, no, 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 no. Was... Oh, my God. Why can't I remember? Was he the dentist in that movie, or he was, was it... He was, like, okay. the rock star, like, motorcycle dentist. <laughs> motorcycle dentist, yeah. I mean, he was, though. That was, yeah, like, no, he... he was. Because he was well, the badass. Well, I know he was that, in it. Um, that, uh, that Rick Moranis' girlfriend Oh, and before. Bill Murray was in that scene where yeah, he's, like... Yeah, he was, like, the <laughs> masochist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I wanted to put Bill Murray in, in his shoes, but no, it's, uh... Yeah, Steve Martin and, and Bill Murray was the the masochist who was enjoying the pain. I Hurt could, me. <laughs> I could very easily see those roles switched though. Yes, totally. Uh, Bill Murray is kind of I could see him in so many different roles, mm -hmm. which is weird because he does kind of the same performance every time. But it he works. Just fits it always he has works. That super everyman kind of feel to him. He really does. Yeah, he's always so good. I'm. I, I was thinking of his performance in Scrooge as like when he goes crazy and is like kissing everybody at the end and that kind of thing, like that kind of joy but that from a pain bringer would <laughs> <Yeah>. be <laughs> so terrifying that he was just so excited to to bring all that kind of pain to his his patients all right 40 seconds joe God, this part should be easy but all right, all right. let me, let me go focus what's, what's the problem here why don't you talk us through it so uh it's just you know it's got a there's a different flow because there's a, there's a very stop go stop go rhythm here mm -hmm. which is different from the way most of the game plays which mm -hmm. is just go as fast as possible so. There you go. All right, all right. Oh, <laughs> seventeen seconds, Joe. All right, I got this. Here we go. <laughs> One run to rule them all. I'm sure you'll make One it. One run to I, bind them. I can't imagine you failing at this point. That would be ridiculous. 
You'll totally do it. Don't worry, everybody. Joe's got this on lockdown. Shit! He'll die. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end. So, thank you guys for watching Instant Replay Live, Super Meat Boy, and continue to, uh, to leave us your nice, wonderful comments. We really appreciate those. And uh, keep coming back and watching, too. That's Tell us what you helpful. think these white bubbles are below. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are they a maggot? Oh, I see a face on one. It is a maggot. Girl. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> tell, so us, tell us something else. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.